taken over. He got four goals and an assist. In the five games that Terry Sanderson has taken over as coach, Wilson has 26 points out of his 35 in total. He's having a great year. You see Wilson, he's a quick guy for the Philadelphia Wings. The hat trick special man has been Jeff Radcliffe. He's coming off back-to-back -back hat trick performances, and tonight he is looking for another big offensive performance. Yeah, Radcliffe is in his fourth year in this league, and he has consistently scored. He's got 28 goals this year, fourth in the league. He leads his team in power play goals, and more importantly, he's been a killer against the Toronto Rock. He's been very successful against them. And in net tonight, we have a couple of veterans for the Philadelphia Wings. Dallas Elliott will get the Who's start. And Shani, you talk to uh, Terry yeah, Sanderson so for Toronto. Looks Thanks like Bob Watson will around. be in net. Yes, Bob, Bob Watson will be starting in Toronto. It's, it's important, important to note that in Philadelphia's play. only win this year against Toronto, Elliott was the start. So uh, a couple of teams that were chippy in their last meeting a couple weeks back, you and I were both here. A fight marred game and lots of uh, rough stuff. You see it right here. Toronto and Philly coming up next right here on Fox Sports Ladies Net. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the field from the movie Old School, Patrick Cranshaw, AKA Blue. And so, so Adling in the East Division standings, the Toronto Rock and the Philadelphia Wings. Let's take a quick look at the standings. Up top, right, you'll find Toronto battling Please Buffalo atop the East Division standings. Rochester and Philly Philadelphia. battling for that third playoff berth. Hi everyone, Joe Heyer and Brian Shanahan here from the Wachovia Center in Philly. And Brian, we were here a couple of weeks back. These two teams have some bad blood, lots of rough stuff a couple of weeks back here at the Wachovia Center. Yeah, they've definitely played some entertaining games, but it's interesting, you know, Philly desperate in the standing, but Toronto was desperate two weeks ago, and you can see how quickly things changed in this division. Toronto comes in having won five in a row. Big performance last night at the Air Canada Center by Mr. Aaron Wilson. Yeah, Aaron Wilson had a great game last night. Four goals and one assist. But ever since Terry Sanderson has taken over as coach five games ago, Wilson has been very hot. He's got 26 points in those five games. For the Philadelphia Wings, Jeff Ratcliffe has scored hat tricks in each of his last two games against Colorado and two weeks back against Toronto. Yeah, Ratcliffe is in his fourth season for Philadelphia and he continues to score. He's got 28 goals this year. He's fourth in the league. He leads his team in power play goals. And more importantly, he's been scoring consistently against Toronto and they'll need it from them today. Philadelphia comes in losing four in a row. They try and snap that streak and cling to their playoff first right here in Philadelphia. It's the NLL Game of the Week from the Wachovia Center coming up after these words on Fox Sports Center. It's up to you. Fine, either way. That's fine. Whatever you think. I'm fine with it if you are. Wings fans, let's I welcome to the field the 1974-1975 Philadelphia Wings. Not in attendance, goal number one, Wayne Platts. With us this evening, goal number 30, Keith Grove.
Back to 1974, the first year Philadelphia had an indoor lacrosse team. Retro night, as you can see, the jerseys being worn tonight, the orange and white jerseys by the Philadelphia Wings. Take a yes. look at some old school video, Brian. This was from 1974. We came to Philadelphia because we heard they had the best and most rabid fans in the United States. You're looking at uh, 12 of the original rings that uh, bought lacrosse to Philadelphia. Uh, the game tonight is, is uh, they're wearing the retro jerseys that we originally wore in uh, the 70s. We all uh, started in Canada and uh, came to Philadelphia to bring the game of lacrosse. We have Bernadette and uh, they have a sp something special planned for old school night. The, the game you're seeing on the floor tonight is uh, it, a, a box lacrosse really originated in Canada. When we came to the United States, uh, the Amer Americans played mostly field lacrosse. The indoor game more reflects hockey. There's an ebb and flow to the game, uh, a fast break, and, a, uh, and, and people getting back and forth to, uh, to make the game 
and much more fluid on the field there there is uh, offense and defense and the people in in that game have specific jobs we all played offense we all played defense in the original games i think the games that we played probably the biggest single difference is the sticks uh, we use wooden sticks and uh, teams now use uh, aluminum and, and plastic sticks and it was uh, a lot harder on your body and the equipment was a little bit different at that time we didn't wear pads <laughs>